13 Ways Car Dealers Can Profit Off One Car Buyer A car dealer has multiple sales opportunities with a single car buying customer, some during the initial sales process and others spanning from the vehicle sale to various after-sales services and products. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homework Guy channel. I'm your host Kevin Hunter and right over there is the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Are you ready to dive deep into the world of car buying? Buckle up because today we're going to reveal the 13 ways dealers can profit off one car buyer. And trust me, it's not just about selling the car. Do you think dealer profits are just about the price and the windshield? Think again. From the moment you step into the dealership to the moment you drive off, there's a whole world of deals and add-ons that boost the dealer's bottom line. In fact, you'll encounter multiple salespeople trying to do their best to sell you something. We'll explore everything from trade-ins, financing markups, and those enticing extended warranties to the lesser-known add-ons like fabric protection, VIN etching, and so much more. And if you're a new returning viewer, make sure you visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. It is absolutely loaded with free resources for car buyers, and we'll go over that at the end. Check it out right after the show. And today's show is not just about cautionary tales. We'll also give you insider tips on how to navigate these options, ensuring you make the best decisions for your wallet and your set of wheels. So if you're planning to buy a car, considering an upgrade, or just love to know the ins and outs of the auto industry, this episode is for you. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome content, and ring that bell for notifications. Let's shift into gear and get started. Here are 13 key car dealer profit opportunities. Number one is the initial vehicle sale. This is the primary opportunity involving the sale of the car itself. The dealer can profit from the vehicle sale price minus its cost. Number two are add-ons. Dealer add-ons can include aesthetic enhancements like pinstriping, spoilers, or custom rims, <laughs> or more practical additions like roof racks, cargo organizers, running boards, or all-weather floor mats. Add-ons are sometimes even scams like window etching and nitrogen-filled tires. Number three, trade-in vehicle. If the customer trades in their old car, the dealer has the opportunity to make a profit by reselling the trade-in vehicle. Number four is financing. Dealers often offer financing options. They can earn income from interest and loan origination fees, especially if they mark up the interest rate or the buy rate that is provided by the lender. In fees, there are an unlimited number of fees a dealer can come up with or invent to hit you. And they love to invent fees. Oh yeah. Number five, extended warranties. Selling extended warranties or service contracts can be a significant source of profit as these are always high markups. Number six is gap insurance. If the customer is financing the vehicle, the dealer might offer gap insurance, which covers the difference between the insurance payout and the remaining loan balance if the car is totaled. It also happens to be the most expensive gap policy that money can buy. The most expensive. Number seven, additional insurance products. Some dealers offer other insurance products such as credit life insurance, which pays off the loan in certain scenarios like death or disability. Of course, there's also tire and wheel insurance, paintless dent repair, key replacement, paint and fabric protection, prepaid maintenance, theft combo programs, windshield and total term protection, to name a few. Yeah. We say, don't waste your time and money. Don't do it. Number eight, vehicle accessories. Dealers often profit from selling and installing accessories like roof racks, upgraded sound systems, or custom wheels available in their accessories department. And number nine, maintenance and service plans, prepaid maintenance plans or service packages are another potential source of revenue. Number 10, parts and service department. After the sale, the dealership can generate income through regular vehicle maintenance, repairs, and part sales. Number 11, customer loyalty and referrals. Establishing a good relationship can lead to repeat business, whether it's servicing the current vehicle or purchasing future vehicles and referrals to other potential customers. Number 12, vehicle buyback or lease returns. At the end of a lease or when a customer is ready for a new vehicle, the dealer has the opportunity to sell or lease another vehicle. Number 13, special programs and promotions. Dealers may also benefit from manufacturer incentives, bonuses for meeting sales targets, and promotional events. Each of these opportunities represents one of the 13 different ways for a dealer to generate revenue from a single customer, emphasizing the long-term value of each customer beyond just the initial vehicle sale. What's interesting about this is that from the constant badgering and frequent mistreatment that dealers give to their car buying customers, it's apparent that they often don't understand this. I'm going to wrap this up today by hitting on the great free resources we have on our website for car buyers. Starting with the car buyers blog lineup is the dealer finance products you can cancel after the fact. Up next is how to survive high pressure sales tactics, followed by extended warranties, worth it or bust. 
More great titles continue with Car Gap Insurance Explained and Auto Loans Buy Rate versus Sell Rate. That wraps up the many good blogs about the finance office. It keeps going with Don't Say I'm Paying Cash, Federal and State Laws That Protect Car Buyers, and then Checklist for How to Do Your Own Vehicle Inspection. It's followed by Illegal Price Discrimination Notice Against Cash Buyers. Up next is one of my favorites, Illegal Tied Selling and Forced Add-ons, followed by 13 Ways a Car Dealer Commits Fraud, and also 8 Illegal Things Car Dealers Do. The FTC rules are there. Fake fees used by car dealers are there. And then two more of my favorites, Email Templates for Used and New Cars to Get Out the Door Pricing. It wraps up with New Car Buying 101, a virtual roadmap to a new car purchase. We've done it all for you, friends, and we hope you sincerely appreciate it. These are free tools that all of you should be using in your car buying journey. And let me say this, just because you visited thehomeworkguy.com early in the week doesn't mean there won't be several new things there by the end of the week. It's always growing. Now, if you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you are a member of our channel, we really enjoy working with you. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Absolutely. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've, We've got to go. go. You can't go! All the plants are going to die!